Tissue Doppler imaging measures the velocity of myocardial motion using Doppler principles. The usual Doppler echocardiography measures the velocity of blood flow using the Doppler signals from the fast moving blood cells which are of low amplitude. Tissue Doppler measures low velocity high amplitude signals from myocardial motion. Tissue Doppler is not able to differentiate between passive motion and active motion due to fiber shortening but strain imaging is able to do so. Color coded tissue Doppler imaging is sometimes called color kinesis. Pulsed wave TDI is useful to measure myocardial velocities in the long axis as the movement is parallel to the Doppler beam. Mitral annular TDI has three waves SA systolic myocardial velocity, EA early diastolic myocardial velocity and AA myocardial velocity during atrial contraction. While imaging from the epical view, systolic velocities are positive and diastolic velocities are negative. Systolic velocity at the lateral mitral annulus correlates with the longitudinal systolic function of the left ventricle. Diastolic velocities depend on ventricular diastolic function. TDI assessment of diastolic function is load independent compared to the conventional measurement using mitral inflow velocities which are highly sensitive to preload. Tissue Doppler imaging at the level of the mitral annulus septal side illustrating EA and AA. EA is also called E prime to differentiate from mitral inflow velocity. A in EA stands for annulus. EM is used to indicate myocardial. E by E prime measurement is used to assess diastolic function by tissue Doppler. Method may vary in technical details between machines. In low level machines, we have to measure both E from mitral flow Doppler and E prime from tissue Doppler at the septal mitral annulus level and calculate the ratio manually. In other machines, as illustrated in this image, E is measured initially and stored. After that, E prime is measured and the machine automatically calculates the E by E prime ratio marked by green arrow at the top left corner in this image. The high E by E prime ratio in this case indicates left ventricular diastolic dysfunction. E by E prime at lateral mitral annulus more than 10 and E by E prime more than 15 at the septal mitral annulus indicates left ventricular diastolic dysfunction. E by E prime values less than 8 would indicate normal left ventricular diastolic function.